Hello guys, welcome back. Today I have installed two R9 mini receivers redundant on my XL7 in order to feel as safe as possible on my first long range flights. That's not my final solution for mounting the antennas, especially for the vertical one. But hopefully it's good enough for my first long range test flights. I have placed the master R9 mini with the antenna on the front and the slave with the vertical antenna at the back in and under this TPU mount. I will use a 4S 1800 battery on my first test flight and on my second flight I want to use two 1500 4S batteries in parallel. I'm on the field now to start my first real long range flight with my 7 inch quad. The sun is shining, but unfortunately it's pretty windy today. And now around one second before arming, my GPS lost some satellites and the rescue mode not available message appears on my OSD. Not the best conditions to do a confident long range flight. If you keep looking at the GPS data, you are also going to see that the GPS loses the satellite several times. It already happened before on all of my other test flights, but I was hoping it would be different at this location. This issue with the GPS happens on all of my quads with different GPS modules only with Beta Flight 4.1 and it never happened with Beta Flight 3.5 even on one of the same quad. This issue is already known on Beta Flight GitHub. You can find it under the number 9194. If you have kept looking at the OSD, you probably have already noticed the low RSSI value. I've even got the low RF warning from my Tyrannus. I have never got this issue before. I was even able to fly 2 km with only 10 mW output power with only one R9 mini receiver. Apparently there's something wrong with one of my R9 mini receivers or the antennas. I'm also not getting a failsafe, so obviously the Frisca redundancy function with two receivers keeps me on the air. All in all, I'm pretty disappointed, the GPS isn't working as expected and I've got some problems with my R9 system. I don't dare to fly further away today. I first need to fix these issues before we go on doing long range flights. But I'm on the field now, I have my charged 1500mAh batteries connected in parallel to a 3000mAh battery with me and I also don't want to go home yet. So I'm going to do a second flight with my 3000mAh battery. In the meantime, I'm speeding up the way back home in order to let you enjoy my second flight. I'm going to travel over 9 kilometers with the risk of losing my quad because of the faulty GPS module and R9 receiver. I will keep you up to date with my long range experiences and results and hopefully I can show you a real long range flight next. Enjoy the rest of the video, thank you for watching and see you next time.